This video tutorial will explain how to set up catalog mode and role based pricing in your WooCommerce store, with Elix WooCommerce catalog mode, wholesale, and role based plugin. Once the plugin is installed and activated, click on settings option to get started. You can also find the plugin settings under the WooCommerce menu as role based pricing. The plugin settings are divided into five subsections. The role based pricing settings, is where you can set up price configuration based on WordPress user roles. Unregistered user section, which contains settings for your guest users. Catalog mode section, a general catalog mode section for turning your whole store into a product catalog, regardless of any user role. Tax option section, to set up role based tax display settings in the shop, cart and checkout pages, and to add a general or role based suffix text to the price. And lastly, the Manage User Role section, where you can add or remove WordPress user roles. First up is the Role Based Settings. These settings will help in removing or customizing the Add to Cart button, hiding product prices, cart, and checkout pages, based on user roles. For example, let's say you want a custom user interface for subscribers, customers, contributors, and wholesalers like you would want to remove add to cart button for subscribers and let customers request a quote for a product hide product prices for contributors and lastly since wholesalers need a different kind of shopping experience set custom product prices for them here's how you can configure this in the plugin settings since we need to remove the add to cart button for the subscriber user role select the respective user role for the given setting a new text field will follow where you can specify an HTML placeholder text. When a subscriber logs into your store, instead of the Add to Cart button, the custom HTML text will be displayed. Next option is to customize the Add the Cart button. For our demonstration, customers need to request a quote for a product. Hence, select Customer User Role from the given drop down list. Further settings appear where you can specify the replacement text for the button in product and shop pages. You can redirect the button link on product and shop pages to a custom URL, by specifying the respective URL in this text field. For requesting a quote, let us redirect customers to a sample page, in which we could use a contact form to accept the price quotations. When these settings are applied, the customer's interface will operate in this way. Also, you can hide the regular price of all simple products which have sale prices or hide all product prices based on user role. To hide product price for the contributor user role, select the respective user role from the hide price drop down list. This will also remove add to cart button for the selected user role. This is how the shop will function for all your contributors. Another useful setting the plugin offers is to hide cart and checkout pages. If you are setting up a product catalog by hiding prices or customizing the add to cart button, there is no point of having cart and checkout pages. Hence, you can select desired user roles for which the setting has to be applied. In addition to this, the plugin provides individual product adjustment based on user roles. With this feature, you can set different product prices or price adjustments, based on user roles. For our demonstration, let's select wholesaler user role for individual product adjustments. This adjustment setting will be available in every product edit page. A new section will be available in the product data meta box, where you can enter custom product price. When a wholesaler logs into your store, he can see the custom price for the product, as shown. Moving to price adjustment table. This is where you adjust prices based on user roles. You can apply a discount, or markup, on either sale price, or on both regular and sale price. The first column in the table represents all the available user roles. In the second column, you can select the desired product categories for price adjustments. This means the price adjustments will only apply to the selected product categories, specified for the respective user role. 
If no category is selected, the price adjustment will be applied to all products for the respective user role. The price adjustment can be applied in terms of amount or percentage value. To apply an amount discount, enter a value in the given text box and select the option D for the discount. For markup, select the option M. You can set percentage price adjustments in the same way. You can change the priority of user roles by dragging and dropping the hamburger icon on the extreme left of each user role to the desired position. If a single user has multiple user roles assigned, the user role with the highest priority will be chosen for the price adjustment. To enable a user role for role-based price adjustment, tick the enable checkbox of the respective user role. Once all the settings are configured, click save changes. You can configure these settings at product level as well. These settings are limited only to the respective product. In the product data meta box, a new section for role-based settings can be seen. The settings are divided into three sections. Catalog mode for unregistered users, where you can remove or customize the add to cart button, hide product prices, or hide the product itself. Similar settings can be applied based on user roles, where you need to select the desired user roles. For example, let's consider you want to hide the sunglasses product for the shop manager user role. To do this, select the shop manager user role from the hide product option. The product will be hidden from shop managers in this way. Next is the price adjustment setting, these settings are similar to that of role based price adjustments. Except, that the adjustment is only applied to the product. Tick the individual product price adjustment checkbox to configure the settings. The user roles listed here are the results of the user roles selected in the individual product adjustment setting of the plugin. For example, notice the initial product prices of these three products. They are $90, $70 and $60 respectively. When a markup value of $5 is applied to the wholesaler user role, the product prices will increase by $5 in this way. Further, for the sunglasses product, if we apply product level adjustment discount of $5, wholesalers will get the discount for the product as shown. Moving to unregistered user settings. As the name suggests, these settings allow you to configure a catalog mode settings for your unregistered users. The settings are similar to role-based catalog mode settings, where you can remove or customize the add to cart button, hide regular price for sale price products, hide all product prices, and hide the cart and checkout pages. You can configure the settings based on your requirement. For example, let us remove the add to cart button and add custom placeholder text. A guest user will access your WooCommerce store, in this way. The third section is the general catalog mode. With this feature, you can turn your whole store into a product catalog regardless of any user roles. The settings in this section are similar to that of role-based and unregistered users settings, where you can remove or customize the add to cart button, hide product prices, and hide the cart and checkout pages. But remember, these catalog mode settings will override all other role-based catalog mode settings. One additional feature here is that you can choose to skip these settings for all your administrators by enabling the exclude administrator checkbox. For example, if we want to hide product price, we can just enable the respective setting and save the changes. In the shop page, the plugin will hide the product price and disable the add the cart button. The general catalog mode settings are also available at the product level. In the product data meta box, there is a separate section called as catalog mode. These settings are applied only to the respective product. For example, the hide price setting here will hide the price of only the specific product. Now, let's see tax options. Enable the tax options to reveal further settings. In this section, you can assign the desired tax class and tax display option to each user. But remember, these settings only help you to configure tax display option and not set custom tax rates based on user roles. 
The tax rates will, however, be the default tax rates defined in your WooCommerce tax settings. You can set priorities of user roles by dragging and dropping them to the desired position. If a single user has multiple user roles assigned, the user role with the highest priority will be chosen for tax display option. Next feature helps in setting price suffix text. You can set a general suffix text for all users, or set role specific suffix text. This text will be visible next to product price on the shop page, as well as on the product page. The last set of settings is where you manage all user roles. To add a new user role, click on the Add Custom User Role option, just enter the desired user role name, and save the changes. This will create a WordPress user role with the given name. To remove an existing user role, tick the respective checkbox of the user role, and save the setting. The user role will be removed from the WordPress user role list. In this way, you can set up catalog mode and role-based pricing in your WooCommerce store. If you don't have our Elix WooCommerce catalog mode, wholesale and role-based pricing plugin, get it today at lextensions.com. If you are one of the thousands of our satisfied customers, get the updated version as a part of your subscription and start setting role-based pricing in your WooCommerce store. For any further queries, contact us at our online support today. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel, for more informative videos related to WordPress and WooCommerce plugins.